I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So um, let's get into it. Check, check, check. Oh, we're working because I'm not filming another video without sound. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing something that I find extremely difficult <laughs> and that is watching uh, equestrian TikToks. I, I, there's something about, I, I don't mind the app TikTok, I don't mind like normal TikToks even though there's some really bad cringy ones out there um, but me as a person whenever someone's like, like I don't mind someone if like, <laughs> how do I even begin? Okay, so when it comes to equestrian TikToks, I have to say, and no shade to the equestrian TikTokers out there, but most of them miss the mark. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if it's just me, but they're either not funny or they're like really cheesy or they're super cringy. I measure how cringy someone is by the level of goosebumps I get when I watch it. Um, I don't know if you guys experience this as well, but that's something I go through on a daily when I'm scrolling through TikTok. Whenever I see boys doing like really cringy dances and like thinking they're really good looking and trying to like do weird things, I'm like, gross, I'm cringing, not interested, bye. Um, but the equestrian world can have a little bit of that too. In saying that, there's also some really, really funny equestrian TikToks. Um, so what I thought I would do today is, I work in social media, I guess you could say. I'm a model, but I also work on social media. Um, and I want to get to understanding a little bit more of, in the equestrian TikTok area, what are the top most viewed video? And I want to understand, because I don't understand. I want to understand what makes them go viral. Because a lot of people always ask me like, Matt, how do I become Instagram famous? Or how do I get like a reel to do really good? Or how do I get a TikTok? I don't know. There is no figuring out the algorithm. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot even compare it to something harder. I mean, it's the most difficult thing in the world. Every day it's changing. It's always hit and miss. And sometimes the most random, most boring video will get like millions of views. And then a video with that is high production that you put a lot of time into will get no traction at all. So there's no real formula. Um, I guess it just depends on the viewership and if the algorithm is pushing it or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this already, but I thought let's go and have a look at the top equestrian TikToks right now and we're gonna react to them. I'm gonna give you my opinions on some of them. I'm gonna try and be as unfiltered as I can be possibly on YouTube. Um, and to anybody who's made these TikToks, this is nothing personal, you know, it's only so deep, it's only social media. I think it's nice to, you know, when you put content out there, I'm the same. I, I want people to laugh, whether with me or at me, I want them to laugh. So we're gonna be laughing, we're gonna be looking at some TikToks, so let's get into it. But 50 million likes. So I don't even know how many views that is, but I'm guessing it's around 90 or 100 million views. So let's just get into it. Oh my god. Is that, doesn't that blow your mind that the video of this, it's, I mean it's a cute pony, it's a cute pony, but the video of this pony has 50 million likes of it just slipping at home. I mean it is cute though the way it falls completely on its side. But that's what I mean, you know, you just never know what's gonna work and what's gonna not. I mean I don't think this woman, I think it's a woman, I don't think she would have known that it would have been viewed by a hundred million people-ish or so, whatever it is. Let's go to the next one. Oh my god. I've, I've actually seen this one and I think it's really funny. I think it's really clever. <laughs> so they've kind of like made this fake horse uh, out of a rug and a fake horse head and they've gone into the field. I think if I would do this with my horses, I would be killed. I don't think it's a group of stallions, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god, it's again Shetland's running. Oh my god, it's the exact same woman as before. This woman's account is blessed by the algorithm. Her, her Shetland's can just run and she gets 5.5 million likes. They're very cute though. I mean, I, you gotta give it to them. They are very cute. All right, let's go, let's go to the next one. Okay, I think it's some sort of like satisfying, satisfying cleaning video. Oh no, it's not. Oh, this, this is a story of my life. This is what happens every time I wash my gray horses. 
This this is what happens. Okay. 4.6 million views for that though, that's a lot. I've seen this video. This is one of those incredible videos that you go, look at that. Like beautiful setting, beautiful sunset. And how incredible to just do that with your horse. If I did that with any of my horses, Oh, maybe, maybe Emporia would stay. All my other horses would be like, bye, sayonara, never seen you again. Chase would be back in Australia. How amazing though. I wonder what part of the world this is. Definitely Europe, I think. Looks very pretty. Could even be the Netherlands, actually. It's very pretty. Had yet another neighbor tell me that there was a dead horse in the Okay. Yard, so I'm doing a life check. Hey, Squidward. Oh my god, I love that the horse is called Squidward. Squidward, are you dead? Squidward, are you alive? Are you alive? No. <laughs> oh. That's good, but I need you to stop sleeping like a literal carcass. <laughs> a carcass. That's like one of my favorite words. I use it all the time. <laughs> but this happens to me too. I'll be like in my office where I'm sitting now. If I look out the top window, I can see all the fields. And sometimes I'll be like, because Chase is always asleep in the field. So I'll be like, is that Chase lying down? What's going on? And then I'll yell his name and then he'll look up. I'm like, oh, okay. False alarm. False alarm. All right, next. Oh, Big John is over 20 hands high. Oh my God. This is this is all the people on YouTube that are like, Matt, you think your stallion is massive? This horse is massive. And I agree, this horse is bloody huge. Ah, oh, he's retired. Look at him. I wonder how old he is. My God, he's stunning. I wonder what it would feel like to ride a horse that big. Like, is everything softer because the gates are so long? I feel like this rising trot would be very difficult though. There'd be like another stride in between. When you were the weird horse girl in primary school and now everybody wants to be your horse. <laughs> oh my god. Why? <laughs> I guess this could count as one of those TikToks where I'm like, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. There's like a huge, um, well not huge, but definitely in the equestrian community, there's, there's a big... Um, how do I say this without getting cancelled? Um, in the equestrian community, there is a large portion of the comments that are really sexualizing the sport, which I find disgusting because, of course, this is just our sport. It's our passion. It's animals. And animals and anything sexual should never go together. Um, so a lot of people were sending me messages like, Matt, like, talk about it, address it. What do you think? Like, talk about it. And all I've got to say is, you know, I think... When you're on social media, being sexualized is something that happens often and then that's not okay. But when it comes to specifically women being sexualized in the equestrian sport, all I can say is that being sexualized for your sport, no matter if you're a guy or a girl, is wrong. Um, especially when animals are involved. Um, but when it comes to how women feel and everything like that, I cannot comment because I'm not a woman. I think it's best to listen to, to them. Have you been looking to finally make that website you've been thinking about? Do you have a website that you know could be better? Well, let me tell you, Squarespace is the place to go to if you're looking to design your very own website and be in charge of it yourself. Squarespace offers hundreds and hundreds of already made templates for you to get your inspiration from to understand the look and feel you want to have for your website. If you already have a website and you're looking for a better way and system to manage it, Squarespace is the place to go to. I've now been using Squarespace for three years to run my own website. I love how easy it is to manage, to go in, to make changes. Um, I love the ability I have to customize even when I do choose what template I want. I can go in and make changes whenever I feel like I want to freshen up and a change. It's something that you don't need any coding knowledge Anybody can just pick up and go and use Squarespace and make something really, really great out of it. If this is what you've been looking for, then head to www.squarespace.com slash Matt to get 10% off your first website or domain. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh no, these are always so sad. Oh, he's so cute as well. Imagine being born and you just... Don't have a mum. Ah. These are the things that make you feel good about humans, the horses, just everything. A happy story like this. Yes, actually, there was a horse at his old stables that also lost a fall and she was it took her such a long time to recover because they'd go through this like kind of depression and dip because of it. Obviously, I mean, it's a huge loss and they really kind of understand it. 
Um, but that's a nice video to see. The videos like that get to me. This is like the kind of content I like on TikTok. Sure, I like to laugh and funny ones, but things like this always make my, my day. Day to go to oh, I've seen these people like going to do I believe in Australia I don't know about the Netherlands in Australia It's illegal to go with your horse through a drive-thru But this woman is but this woman is in the US. So she's obviously just <laughs> oh I wonder if they actually serve her Okay, go off. I just need to know if she gets it. Oh, they actually serve her. Do you also have that when it's like come back for part three and then you you have to go look? I'm not gonna do it now, but you have to go through the account. You gotta search back ten years and find part three wherever it is. All right, let's do the next one. Oh, these are like mounted games. I never tried this when I was younger, but these girls are fearless. No fear. So. Oh, I've seen this. Firstly, meh. You don't even have to look. <laughs> the face. Okay, this is... Can I tell you guys? This is not just a meh thing to do. Stallions do this all the time when you go on there. They try and bite you. I don't know. They've got like this like nibbling thing, stallions. That they, that they just want to like bite and have a nibble. And yeah. How oh, cute. But very, very sweet horse. I love the face when it's like... Whoa. Did she... She didn't pull her sleeve up. She just got it wet. That upsets me. It's a big carrot, but why did she not pull her sleeve up first? Oh my god. I could never. Never. So today on our hack, we met some ignorant people with huge out of control dogs. Oh my god, that's my worst nightmare is like a pack of dogs because it can get. That's one thing that I don't understand though, like, I think it's much safer to stay on the horse. So what you're meant to do, if I'm not wrong, is you should always face the horse towards the dogs, not towards the back. Um, and the reason I feel like it's safer to stay on, firstly, if you don't want to get between the dog and the horse, and you, and the dog can easily spook, and there's no way you're gonna hold the horse. And then he's gone, and then maybe he's on the road. So I feel like safest thing is to stay on um, and it's best not to run because obviously the dogs are gonna run after you after that um, but crazy I mean if you if you're walking your dog and your dog has not seen horses and you know horses are around then you should have them on a leash until you know for, for certain that they're gonna be okay with them <gasps> oh my god this okay this is what happens if you get off this, this is what I'm scared of if I get off in a situation like that where my horse is freaking out about whatever. This is my worst nightmare. And the stable where my stallions are at, um, they are almost next to like a semi-highway, like it's like an 80 road. Um, and that's my worst nightmare that they somehow get out and then they run on the road. Which has happened to some other stables around us and that they have had horses on the road like that. Let me see this. Oh. Oh my god. Don't get it. People always ask me why my curtains are closed. My neighbor. Literally my life. My life in one video. Alright, well I think it's safe to say there is absolutely zero correlation between all of those videos as to what actually makes them TikTok famous or makes them go viral. Um, I guess at the heart of it, there's a lot of horses, and I think with horse people especially, what what other sport do you know that you can post the same thing about it every day and people love it? Like with horses, you can post your photo all the time and it's always interesting for people to watch. How many times can you post a soccer ball or like stuff like that and people are still interested? But let me know down in the comments which video you guys liked, what videos, what equestrian videos you like to see on your TikTok, what equestrian videos you don't like to see on your TikTok. Um, I'm definitely going to be reading them. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.